Generic greetings, in the previous episode of Airships we were answering a very important question and that was can buildings fly and we answered that with yes they can, however they're not exactly predisposed to that mode of transport you understand, generally buildings are quite heavy and also generally quite static so when we have them flying around it's not that great, it also required the opponents to put themselves in a position where we could use grapples or we had to push them with the vehicles and it was just not ideal but it was a lot of fun but that got me thinking can we make a vessel that is in between the two so not an airship because we know airships can fly, they generally fly quite often. Uh, and we've also answered the question um, about static structures, can they fly? Yes, but not greatly. However, what if we go in between? What if we made a land ship and we equipped it with the same armour, the shell armour? Would that work? Well, for a start, I'm guessing that yes, it probably will work. Um, the problem is how effective is it going to be and that's what we're going to probably answer now so let's go over to our propulsion we're gonna see what propulsion we can equip um, now the thing is by the way today's beverage is um, what is that it's like a it's like a peppermint and um, it's peppermint and something tea I think it's actually infusing, like it's like we've got a blueberry type thing going on. Anyway, it's interesting nonetheless. So, um, we've got different propulsion systems here and we're probably going to go for um, quite a small vessel, something that's quite light, something that's quite quick, so we can get in position where it can fire grapples and then sort of, I was going to say do a sort of Spider-Man swing and up, um, and that would be really good if we could equip some spider legs, and we can equip spider legs, however they are massive, so we're not probably going to do that. We will, however, go for probably small legs because they are the smallest in the game. That should be acceptable for the time being. What we want to do on the front is have probably three grappling hooks, so let's go for that. Let's go over to weapons and to... Uh, where is it? Where is it? It is a an oh, ballista. I wonder if we can make a really cheap, really cheap things. We haven't made like a really cheap um, ground vessel. The problem is that ballista, uh, when it comes to the primitive designs, that is a zero to uh, zero tier technology. Whereas the minimum legs, I think, are two or three. Sorry, the minimum. Um, tracks are, are two or three but anyway uh, so we're going to go down over to the harpoon and we'll put harpoons in probably one two three like so the reason for that uh staging there is because we want to have we want to have on the bottom if we go over to our resources a coal store at the bottom like so we want an ammo store placed in and around here and we'll probably use uh is, do you want to use a double ammo store no there's no point there's no point at all um, we're going to go for an ammo store small ammo store up there and then we'll have to connect these up actually we'll do that and we'll probably have um oh i was gonna say i was gonna say just use standard um, decks with ladders, but we'll not do that. We'll use berths because they can go one, two, three, and then they will connect all of that up. That is okay. Um, I would like a bridge because having that, um, having a bridge means we can issue orders very quickly, which I think is important for this one. Uh, it needs more supply hatches, but it also needs some weapons. Now, we, we can grapple with these things, but we can't do anything else. So what sort of things do we think we could use? Well... If we go over to weapons, we've got all sorts of stuff. We're not going to use aerial charges because I think we've sort of exhausted that mode. Although, having grapples on the front and swinging underneath and firing aerial charges would be interesting. But that's a futurist thing, I think. Um, a Gatling gun, maybe, and just get up close and uh, rip them to shreds that way. That could be a way forward, actually. Um, if we, say, put two harpoon guns... Uh, actually, probably shrink this down. Two harpoons... Two harpoons and one gatling, perhaps. Oh, flamethrower would actually be even better. Get right up close and set them on fire. That would be good. That would be good. Um, so let's put another crew member in there. That is now 13. Armour, obviously, is going to be filled up with shell armour there. And then we also need to have some structural... Actually, it's in resources, isn't it? Uh, reinforced supply hatch. Um, ship is very heavy and may have difficulty navigating. That's interesting. Uh, what about a wooden supply hatch? That is completely acceptable. Price is ex more expensive than I thought. But um, we'll see how we get on with this one. So it is basically a box, which is a shame. Um, so I was going to call this a spider tank, but it's not really a spider. Um, uh, what do we want to call it? I mean, we could just call it exactly what it is, which is a harpoon tank. It's not really a tank, is it? Harpoon walker. Okay. Okay. 
Save the design. This is obviously version one. Let's try this out. Combat. Day. Nice flat plane there. So we'll add land ship. Put the harpoon walker on. Okay, there we are. Now, let's just just cover the obvious. This is not going to be effective as another 600 point vessel that is based on just guns. Um, that's more heavily armoured, that's faster, that's built for a specific purpose other than trying to grapple onto something. Anything high level will completely decimate this. Anything more armoured down below will completely decimate this. So, that's not what this is about. Let's just get that out of the way. So, go to airship and we need something around about the same price, which is not possible so we could put the denver against it but that is basically a reactington which is the uh the epitome of um, um, excellent ships very fast gets there takes it over and then uh, you've won basically we could put a bot fly in which is two grape shop cannons and two of the uh two of the rifles that's not too bad uh the barry uh that would probably tear us to shreds and it's more expensive we're gonna put the bot fly in just to see what would happen so we're gonna put it there again we are staging this so it is in our favor we'll start the fight and immediately we will say launch tether at that and we'll say tether up and what on earth's happened there <laughs> did you see what happened there when it landed it it actually jumped it did like a jump um it tried to move uh, that's interesting. Let's say move to there. Will it pull this thing? It is pulling it. It is pulling it. We have more <laughs> We have more power than it does. Um, what happens when it tried to move there, um, it happily just sort of lifted up because we have got this, uh, this suspendium in. So we're just going to pull it and um, we're setting it alight quite nicely. And there you go. Look, it's uh, pushed it back up again. But the problem is we're sort of headbutting the thing. That This is something I didn't expect. It's, um, I, I guess if we say move, oh, we can't because we've got no... None of that. Okay, that's a shame. Um, yeah, let's let's leave that. Let's try that. It sort of did like a little bunny hop type thing, didn't it? So we'll go back over to combat. Um, we'll go over to the land ship there, and we're going to put a harpoon walker on. Um, and it's going to sort of it sort of launched itself because the legs um, sort of like a, a, a sort of down over, and then it sort of stands up straight. See there, the legs are fully expanded, but you can move it so that the legs are sort of bent downish. Um, I'm going to try and do that now. Uh, that's like sort of crouched down. And that is up, so we want it crouched down, really, and then it sort of goes on for a little hop. And we'll add an airship once again. We'll probably put something a bit bigger in there. We'll put the barry in there, and we'll place it like so. And then, once again, we'll start the fight, and um, I'm going to say a harpoon, but I just want to watch the mini, this little hop. And, um, oh, it didn't do it that time. So we've got the, uh, the grapples under there, and uh, this thing has decided that it's not going to... Uh, it's not going to go any further, although... There we go! There we go! It ha <laughs> It has grappled on, and it is now flying with it. <laughs> yes, that is what we were looking for. So the Barry is infinitely more powerful. Well, without any shadow of a doubt, the Barry is more powerful in terms of um, its suspendium and lift. However, this thing is almost neutral. It's almost neutral in terms of its lift and buoyancy, I guess. Um, but <laughs> it's... So the tethers are not snapping. Once the tethers are on there, the, because this thing is so light, you can't really rip the tethers off. I mean, I'm sure if it does a really sharp maneuver, and some vessels that we have will be able to do that, it might break. But we are managing to keep <laughs> on the bottom like that. Okay, I'm going to leave that, because that's a proof of concept to show that that does function. Right, now we have to think about something. Let's go to open, let's go to uh, landship editor, open design. This is this is actually uh, posed more questions than what uh, I thought there. Uh, what's its weight? Its weight is, um, why is it, why is the two weights in it? Uh, 558 out of 675, I think that means. So yeah, that's, oh, that's probably the, uh, the amount uh, that's probably the weight of a load of that. Yes, it is. Yes, there's weight of a load of the legs. Okay, so that's understandable. So, the question is, what are we going to do to improve this? Well, for a start, we're going to get rid of the flamethrower. It didn't work. This thing seems to be, just like the other stuff, it's going to be hanging underneath. So anything that can fire up. Immediately, you'd think, right, aerial charges, let's go for that. But as we've seen previously, they have a very, um, because they're a fused weapon, they fire, and uh, they're, they're, their velocity is such that um, if the vessel's even moving slightly left or right or up and down, you can end up blowing yourself up, it can just miss. Flat cannons, once again, are great in 
in theory, but they get damaged so easily. Um, a dorsal turret might be the way to go. Having a dorsal turret on there and just firing up might be the way to go. We could also go with a... What else could we go with? Um, a massive rocket would probably work because of its arc of fire. Um, and rockets in general might be a way forward. If you put a rocket in like so, you can see that their arc of fire is actually back over. And that cheapens this thing out as well. That might be the way forward. Um, I don't think sponsons or suspendium cans or anything else would also work there. And also, I'm overlooking the obvious. We wouldn't place a front turret, I don't think. Um, no, we wouldn't. Um, the obvious being that... If we had a deck gun like so, it would just fire up anyway. Let's try that. We're just going to save the design there. So save that, just overwrite it straight away. Um, and we'll just see what that's like. That's uh, cheapened out, I think, a little bit. Actually, I'm not too sure. It might be the same price. Uh, and we're going to say add the airship once again. We'll put the barry back in. And we'll put it there. And then we'll go for a land ship, harpoon walker. We'll place it there. And then once again, start the fight, pause it immediately. We want to say J harpoon, click on there. And uh, you can see we've harpooned on. And immediately we've lost because we've harpooned on there. And all we've managed to do is uh, make it so that <laughs> we've lost our weapons. And uh, yeah, we're getting absolutely plastered. That's one of the problems with this uh, shell armor. It's um, not that good great when it comes to uh, taking damage. Okay, that didn't work out and they're not moving, so we can accept that. Let's go back over to the editor and we'll open that up again. Let's remove that. We'll assume that that deck gun is completely useless. Let's go instead with the dorsal turret. Now, this is going to be... Um, probably too heavy. Uh, it is too heavy, yes. So instead what we'll do, we'll get rid of the bridge, we'll move that down to there. Um, we can't give any commands to the ship and we also have too many crew, so we'll remove that. And even still, that is far too heavy for this, for, this, uh, for the legs. Okay. Um, what is the other solution? I mean, aerial charges. Do I really want to go with aerial charges? Not particularly. Um... I mean, we'd only fit a couple on anyway. If we place them on the back, I mean, we could. It's it's a possibility. Place them there and then put a bridge on it. It's still too heavy. No, it's not. Too heavy and may have difficulty navigating terrain. I don't think it will. I think it'll be fine. Um, what we can do, though, as well, is we can shrink it down. We can go up over to there, over to there. Um, over to there, pull that down to there, that can go into there, in fact those can go even further down, and then we can do that. Okay, so, insufficient crew, sadly, um, I will place that back there and then do that. Um, it says it's going to work, whether or not it will, I don't know, that's almost certain you're going to get hit when we ram into it. Uh, crew 9, minimum crew of 10, we're still crewed out, which is... Something I wouldn't have expected, so I'm going to do that, and then get rid of those three, and then put a quarters on the back, because that's probably better. Um, we got well, well over crewed, actually. Um, so, berth. Oh, we can't even get up there. We can't get up there. Um, yeah, so we have to have... We have to have that berth in. That berth allows them to go up and over. Berth in there, and then berth in there. And still under crude. Still under crude. There we are. Okay, we'll try that one out. Again, don't know if this is going to work, but we will give it a go. So, combat. I don't want to <laughs> Why does it uh, have this thing for starting in the rain? Landship, harpoon walker. Put that in there. And airship once again. We'll put the barry in. Put the barry in. Seems to be um, a nice testing one. In terms of price, though, I mean, we're 670 in there. It, it's 6, so a lot more. It's going to do its little hop again here. So there's our hop. You see that? We're going forward, and then we get harpoons under there. Oh, we got one harpoon. we got one harpoon. Um, there's some charges which have um, been actually quite effective there, and it's now trying to get away, but it's not working. Oh, that's okay. That's not too bad. So it's now trying to go forward, and what happened there is we managed to get the other harpoon on, and, oh, it's now landed on top of us, which is... Then proceeding to explode a lot and we win, technically. No, we must have missed defeat. Um, I think we can call that a draw, quite frankly. Um, I don't think either of us have really got the upper hand on that one. Let's go back over to combat um, and we'll say uh, airship. Actually, no, we'll do. 
what we'll do, airship. Let's put it against something that we know that we've used previously in an effective way. Um, definitely not that. Um, the New York, yes, bit too expensive though. The Rock Tosser was a brilliant thing. Um, probably the Sterling, which is just loads of miniguns. That was really good, the Sterling. Um, or the Coventry. Oh, the Coventry. We know where the Coventry lies. So that's it. We'll say add a land ship, and we should get three of these. One, two, three for the same price. Um, 1,851, 1,891, so near as damn it, same points, we're going to say that one. Launch, uh, tethers, and there's tethers away. Not only will it come towards us and um, get hit there, when it tries to fly off, we will go with it. <laughs> Not that that is working, you understand, and oh, now it seemed to be there. So we've managed to get right underneath it there, and we are crushing it up and over. This is where a vertical ram would be quite good. Uh, you notice that actually this top one here is being held up by that. Um, and all that's happening now though, as you can see, is uh, sadly, yeah, we're just getting uh, absolutely plastered there. So that weapon didn't work either. Right, so back over to the um, landship editor. We're going to open design. Do you want to open design? No, we don't. We probably would. Oh, go on then. We'll open the harpoon walker. We're going to get rid of all these things on the back. We're going to keep the tethers, although I have a plan. Maybe put the tethers on like a scorpion's tail at the back there. And then on the front, in terms of weapons, we want to go with a couple of... A uh, massive rocket would be nice, but it's not going to happen. It's just going to be a standard rocket. Um, so rockets would go there. One harpoon on the top, perhaps like... Uh, hmm. See, there would be best. So that's that technically all connected up with the right amount of crew. Recommended crew is 12. It is 12. Um, and need some supply hatches. So we could easily just put a supply hatch on. So we'll go over to resources down to wooden supply hatch. Put on the back there. Now, Obviously, this design is in no way, shape, or form would be, would be very good for a campaign. This is actually 512, so that's really good. Uh, it's cheapened this out. What I want to do is have a strut on the top here, so that gets crushed before anything else. Um, and I can't go down, but maybe that little hat on the top. Okay, we'll give that a go and save design. Um, Harpoon Walker, we'll say version 2, I think we can uh, definitely say that is a much altered design, but keep, keeps the same sort of idea. So combat once again in the rain, uh, we'll say it had a land ship, and we're going to put uh, version 2, we'll put a couple of these on, and obviously these are cheaper than uh, previously now, and we'll say airship, anything around about the grand area, there's the basic, which was a fantastically decent ship, um, the Denver, no, because that would just, that's just overpowered, uh, the Leroy would be fairly useless, uh, that is always fairly useless, um... You know what, I think it is just going to be the uh, the basic, which is a brilliant design, brilliant. Um, it's got harpoons on the front, it's got, uh, sorry, it's got, not harpoons on the front, it's got um, blisters on the front, uh, rifles, I think, on the back, and it's really cheap. And start the, start the fight, we're going to say grapple, launch the tethers onto there, you can see they're going to do this little hop, and then they will um, probably get, why didn't you manage to pull on there, it didn't work. It did not work. So both of these, once again, launch tether. There we go. Tethers are on. Tethers are on. And they are getting lifted up. So they are now on. Um, and we are in a position to shoot now. This is good. So we're hanging underneath. Spider tank. Spider tank. It doesn't have spider legs, so we can't call that, etc. Um, right. That That is a little bit more effective. It can't get away. We've grappled onto it, and we're firing the harpoons. And also, you can see that on the top there, this um, ablative section that we placed there is doing exactly what it should do, which is it's stopping, it's stopping the target from uh, uh, basically landing on the top and crushing it. Also, because the weapon, because the weapon, um, the harpoon is further down on the hull, it means that it can't get crushed immediately by getting hit. The disadvantage is that we've only got one harpoon, but as you can see, that doesn't seem to be any real impediment to it. What I'm going to do 
is I'm going to... Oh, looks like that section is uh, falling off there. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to cut our tethers for this one. That will land there. And you can see... <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! <laughs> because it's so light. It just... <laughs> just sort of bounces about. Um, we're going to say go to there and flip. It land, it's flipped around, there we go, and then we'll launch a tether once again, and that's a uh, launch to get on there, and uh, it's now going to try and go past us. We're actually going to get hit off our own vessel there, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, what we'll do is we will cut the tethers on that one, and when it stops moving, oh, that's fire, and we've lost our guns. We've lost both. No, oh, we haven't lost both guns. Oh! <laughs> it's Scott Grapple. That's brilliant. Okay. Alright, that works. Um, that one, we have cut tethers, so why is it not working? Do you know what it might be? Um, it might be a case of, because it's going the same direction, it's uh, having some issues there. Also, I'm not entirely sure that this uh, shell armor should be used on these. Right, um, we're out of ammo. And we're really out of the fight, really. I mean, it's going to win. Okay, leave the fight. What sort of improvements can we make? So, uh, landship editor once again. Going to open up the V2. Um, that did seem to work. It did seem to work. In terms of weapons, we could put a, a ram on it. Um, that would slightly increase the cost of it. Uh, sorry, the weight by um, far too much. What about a very small ram? Uh, no. So, uh, even if we'd like the cow catcher... It's just not going to work. Um, I mean, what would happen if we just had a cow catcher? That's all we had. Is it possible? Well, it's certainly possible. Is it useful in any way? No, the cow catcher is so expensive. It doesn't matter what you do, it's just so expensive. Okay, right, that's, that's a shame. Um, how can we improve this then? How can we improve this? Well, the one harpoon seemed to work. The... Do we need another harpoon gun on it? Underneath, perhaps? No, we can't. Um, maybe there and there. Then we're getting close. It's getting, he getting heavy. It may have difficulty. It definitely, definitely doesn't have any difficulty navigating. I don't think we need another harpoon gun. What I do think we need to do is put the harpoon gun closer to the front of the vessel. Like that. Um, and put another... Just basically put a full roof on it. An ablative roof. Mm, do we want that? Yeah, I think we do. But I'm also going to remove that. Because I don't think we need all of that stuff as well. Um, in terms of overlays... Oh, walks are good. Uh, what I will do... Strangely, I didn't think I'd ex I didn't expect me to be doing this, but um, we're gonna have a fire extinguisher in there. I didn't think we need one, but we're gonna put one in. What we could have done is, or what we can do rather, is if we wanted to, we could go for steel armor and steel armor the explodey bit. The question is, will it still fly? Let's save the design. All about iteration. All about iteration. Oh, no, it's not raining. We'll have to make it rain. Uh, Landship once again. Harpoon Walker version 2. 1, 2. Um, another one. 3. So 1,500. And I know we have some airships around about that level. Um, so we've got 1,500. Oh, the Dresden. The Dresden. The dreaded Dresden. Um... The Bomber of Doom, and we are going to try and fight it. I don't think we'll fight it because it's extremely good. We've done our little jump, there's our little hop, and launching away! And there's our harpoons on it, and we are too heavy. We're too... Oh no, it's slowly getting there. But you can tell there's just something not as, not as swift about them. And why is that floating up? Hang on, that one there is floating up because it's lost the heavy bits. Right, yeah. Um, move, I'm going to say that one, move to there. I'm going to say ram to there. And there's our harpoons, and we're swinging again. We're actually successfully fighting here, for the most part. There's harpoons on again. Um, okay. 
What we've gained with one thing, we've lost in another. Um, we can harpoon onto them, and that's victory, actually, surprisingly. Um, we can harpoon onto them, but you notice that they're just not as agile as they were. Uh, but I think that armor has... It does give them an advantage. It really does. Uh, maybe remove some of this. What's the way to get rid of those? That really cheapens it out, keeping it like that. Maybe just keeping it as light as possible. I mean, the thing is, I hate to say it, but it's polishing a turd. It's like, we're not going to get anywhere. You can't um, to use old-fashioned phrases to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. It's still garbage to start with. You can't turn that into something that's amazing. Um, so, we'll, we'll, we'll try, we'll try. We'll do our best. Back into the rain. Um, airship once again. Oh, uh, sorry, landship once again. One, two, three. And what do we want to fight? The Sterling. Sterling's a fine vessel. It's a fine vessel. Can go to there. I'm hoping we do our little hop. Yes, there's our little hop. And we'll launch tether. Um, I love that little launch that it does. That's brilliant. It's brilliant. And then they swing. There we go. Um, it's really having a bad time as of late. That thing in it. So, it doesn't matter where it goes now. It's uh, it's getting there. It's getting shot. I mean, we've already lost one of the uh, one of the leapers, which I think is a proper name for it, the leaper. And damage is good. Right, okay, I mean... Yeah, having that top, definitely worth it. Maybe even extend it further forward by one, but it's not strictly necessary. This rocket, brilliant. Cheap, caused a lot of damage, and Arc of Fire is good. Oh, we've got a, we've got a tether that's broken. We'll see a launch tether on that one there, and it's going to do its... <laughs> Look at that, it's, it actually can't slow down. Uh, oh, oh, it's 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 like a it's like a dr <laughs> it's like it's drunk. <laughs> it's like staggering all over the place. <laughs> Go home, Harpoon Walker, you're drunk. Um, get closer. Come on. Oh, I did fire tether there. It just didn't get there. And I can't order this to move because it's not going to work. I say move. It's not. It's got no. Obviously, it's got no traction. It's just going to sit there. Um. Oh, we won. Okay, yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a tether, and oh, we've won. Excellent. Okay, okay. Right. Yeah, that's that's fine. Back to rain. Actually, let's try a night fight. So, this time we're gonna do it the other way around. We're gonna pick the vessel to fight, and then we'll point it up towards it. Um, the Harrier would be not too bad of a fight because it's got planes. Although we just wouldn't be able to win against the planes. Um, the Leroy's garbage. The Necrosis is a brilliant vessel, but uh, again, not really something we can fight because we don't have the other stuff. I mean, we're fighting this in isolation, you understand. Um, the ice, uh, testing turn is not bad. Unassailable is pretty good. The York? Mm, we could fight the York. Should we do that? We'll fight the York, which is 5,000. It's 5,000 credits for that. We're not going to be able to win because... Actually, no. Can Rocket shoot those down? I think the splash damage can hurt them, but I don't know if they fire against them. Anyway, we're going to add Landship and the Harpoon Walker 2, which I think we will retroactively rename, called the Leaper. Just because of the way it goes, boing, when it first starts. So how many were on here? Uh, oh, 6,000, so we put too many of them, one, two. So they are on um, 5,265 against our 5,040. We'll start the fight. We will immediately tell them to launch tether, and let's see if they jump. Oh, that's still brilliant. Oh, it never gets old. It might do after a while, I assure you, but uh, still. Um, these are still trying to tether. We are mostly tethered on now. We are mostly tethered on. Um, shots are going out. You can see that there is a hell of a lot of aerial hazards that are chopping us to bits. Um, and that was to be expected. We will issue a move order to flip round for this one. Um, however, even though even though that we are... Let me issue a tether on there. 
Um, even though that we are doing a great amount of damage to this, the problem, as you can see, is that uh, the flyers are killing us, which is sort of what we expected anyway. Um, the York is unsu oh, actually quite surprisingly taking this damage quite well. It was never a high flyer. Um, it was always a fairly high maintenance vessel. And oh, I think we can safely say that um, we've taken out most of their suspendium. We have, however, one vessel left. And we have one vehicle left. Where is it? It's burning on the stern. Again, we've lost that statistically, according to this. But that's never going to recover. That's a dead vessel. We took it down. Okay. All right. Um, we'll try a couple more, perhaps. So, add airship. We'll try something a bit more mid-tier. Uh, again, if we put a Harrier in there, <coughs> excuse me, it's not going to work out. We could, if we wanted to, attempt to shoot those planes down, and we'll probably say put... The, the solution would be to put one rifle or one grape shot cannon on or something, but then we start to creep up the points and move away from the idea of what this thing is, which is a thing that can move quickly to an area, grapple on, and fire up. Um, although, like I say, flak didn't work. I mean, we should really try that, shouldn't we? We should try a flak one. We should try a flak one. Okay. Land ship. Open design. There's a walker. Um, get rid of that. Move that back over. Like that. We want flak. Weapons. Flat can. Just put it in there. Uh, we could put it further up. Is there any point? No, not really. There's fine. Perfectly fine. Um, problem is, however, it will get crushed. So I'd like to place it further back. There. And. Ah. Ah, we can't get up there. It's not a massive problem. We can always move the bridge up. And that should be us. I think that's us away. Version 3. So, leave that. Actually, yeah, go on. That should be fine. Um, land ship. Version 3. Did that not save? Hang on. Because oh, I've loaded the wrong one, that's why. Because I'm an idiot. Right. There's three of those. Um, airship. 1,500. Put a uh, Covent Real kick our ass, probably. Oh, you know what? No, I put it in. Come on. There we go. No guts and a glory. Um, we're a couple hundred points under, but it's not too much of a problem. Launch tether. It's going to try and back up now. And... Ah, that's not worked out too good for us. Let's move forward. Um, oh, hang on. That's not too bad. It's going to try and back up constantly, you see, because it... Uh... <laughs> that's working. Um, there you are. It's going to try and back up because it wants to be in the front and it wants all our guns to be uh, the other way. Because obviously our guns are firing up. It wants to be not. It wants to be in front of us, not underneath. Um, good grief. There's most of them gone. Um, there's the thing about the flat cannons. They just take too much. A little bit of damage and that's it. They're gone. Um, okay. We'll leave that. Leave that. Uh, one more try, I think. So, landship. Walker V3s, one, two, three, four. Um, actually, less might be more on this. Let's try just two of them. A thousand points. So, airships around about the thousand point mark. Ignoring the Denver. Ignoring the Leroy. In fact, I could probably manage to delete that. Um, actually, what was that there? Um, airship, what's the two thousand points? The Unassailable. That's a bomber. That's our, well, what we thought was going to be a high level bomber because it has the uh, Moon Dusk fragment in it. But it wasn't. We'll put a sterling in. Um, and these ones... Put another one of those in. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Sterling. Start the fight once again. They're going to do their little hop, skip and a jump. And... 
There we go. Don't know the past it. And... <laughs> There's the disadvantage. Any airship worth its salt knows that it's flak. Guess what? You just go underneath it. Or you just go underneath it or you go in front of it. We're however fast enough to do that, we can pretty much keep pace with it. <laughs> um, that's interesting. Yeah, that's very cool. We can just keep pace with it. I'm going to uh, say move to there. This one move over to there. Eventually, it will try to fire harpoons, but we're, we're too far away from it, you see. Now we'll just keep backing up. And we can keep chasing it. Okay, you know what? The the whole idea of flak is not terrible. It's not terrible. Look at that. <laughs> the one little bit left of the other ve the other vessel, and it's... Uh, yeah, it's just having a little float around. So we're just going to be chasing this around. Um, with the with the use of the bridge rather than the... Um, uh, was it the bridge? Yeah, the bridge rather than the um, the smaller one, the one by one. Um, we can issue orders very quickly. And that worked out. Okay. Well, I think that was not too bad. I don't think that was a, bad at all. Um, if we go to... The three designs. That one, no, no, it didn't work. The version one, proof of concept. Um, it was mainly, it, it wasn't that the hull was bad. Um, it was that the weapon selection was bad. So, the base hull of having a light set of legs, um, limited coal store, uh, but also having a bridge. Uh, that was the de That was the first. That was okay. That the hull was good. It was just the weapons that we needed changing. V version two, well. Subsequent versions up to version 2 went with rockets and the harpoon gun on the top there with most importantly the struts on the top to stop that initial impact just breaking either the harpoon gun which then make it drops out of the sky uh, or the rockets which means we can't fight in the first place. Um, and after that, obviously version 3. Um, same sort of deal, we've got our harpoon gun there um, with an ablative <laughs> strut and bridge, and then the flak gun. Um, I think the most effective one was version 2, and quite frankly it's probably the best just to chase things down anyway, and more importantly, it's the cheapest. Um, I think the version 2 is probably the better hull, although the version 3 you saw there, we were able to run back and forward very quickly with that flak. Um, but then again, we're not taking advantage of the whole idea of it, which is grappling and um, staying underneath it. But I think overall, for what we originally set out to do, which is have a vehicle that can get places and grapple, this is the way forward. Um, it also probably is the best one for fighting. Uh, maximum accurate range is 330 meters, whereas I know flak's a lot higher than that, 1,300 meters. So maybe that uh, on balance, the version three is better because if things go to a higher, go higher than we can grapple to, it means that this flak can still shoot it down. But as we said a little bit earlier, none of the uh, designs are perfect, none of them are ideal, but it was never supposed to be like that. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this little mess around. If you've got any ideas, suggestions, etc. for things we can build or changes, or just comments on what we have built and what we should build, then drop them in the comments there. As always, thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.